New York City's diverse beauty has been captured through a man's personal mission to walk every single street in the five boroughs, stretching over 8,000 miles, in a new documentary. The World Before Your Feet follows the journey of Virginia native, Matt Green who first set out on New Year's Eve 2011 to begin his nomadic adventure after leaving his desk job as a civil engineer. With a small budget, Green's walk starts off as a solo mission. Occasionally he has dinner with his friend of over a decade, Jeremy Workman. Ma talked about the wonders of New York in a way that I had never heard. I had lived in New York for most of my life, I was born in New York City and have lived here since college, but Ma talked about the city as if it was some faraway land of adventure and discovery, Workman says of Green's wanderings. He talked about the locals in a deeply compassionate and personal way. Just by walking, it seemed that Matt was drawn closer to people of all stripes, Workman added. Finally, I couldn't take it. I just emailed him with a simple question, shouldn't I be filming your walk? He thought that perhaps Green would say no, so he gave his friends some assurances. He told Green it would only be him and his camera, no crew, walking as if he was a fly on the wall buzzing through an entire city. Somehow, I'm still shocked, Matt said okay. Green's rambling journey covered streets, avenues, cemeteries and alleys, beaches and shores, parks and well, just about everything you can walk on in the city. With no job, he lives on $15 a day. He does not rent a home and gets by staying with friends and acquaintances and usually cats and dog sits. Green said he thought a stroll would take a couple of years. They took longer, in fact he's still walking. Green estimates he'll complete his New York journey sometime in 2019. The point isn't to know everything about every street. He told the New York Post during a recent walk in Northern Flushing. The very nature of it puts everything on the same footing. It makes some random dead end at the edge of Queens near Nassau County the same as Times Square. You have to go everywhere once. He spends his nights looking up historical notes of interest like the significance of the different names for little parks he discovers along the way. He passes through some places more than once, according to his blog, noting the differences in locations from year to year. He is also obsessed with food from Tress and observes how the fig trees fared better one year over another. And the people. He connects with people from every walk of life in a city that is as diverse as arguably any other in the world. Share this article Share the social network star, Jesse Eisenberg, produced The World Before Your Feet. The movie serves as an almost academically rigorous walking tour of one of the great cities of the world, but also depicts the human drama of one man's quixotic quest to accomplish something few can understand, says Eisenberg, who admits he was reluctant to bother watching when he was first sent the movie to preview. He says he watched it in its entirety, twice that day. Eisenberg continued, he reminded my parents of their generation, a kind of Jack Kerouac spirit that's been lost to GPS. My activist, socially progressive wife said, finally, we get to see parts of the world and people that are overlooked and forgotten in big cities. My little sister wanted to tweet at Matt. Seeing it through other people's eyes, the movie became, to me, a rejection of much of the way we experienced the world today, blind to our surroundings. It's a commentary on the way we have cloistered ourselves in bubbles and routines, missing the history and beauty that lurk beside us. Matt's world perspective is so unusually profound, he seems both cockeyed optimist and wise and philosopher.
Most interesting is how the movie depicts people interacting in a diverse metropolis, Mott meets people from every class, race, nationality and somehow finds commonality. It's unintentionally prescient and surprisingly heartwarming. It is the ultimate New York movie in that it, paradoxically, seems like it's about the entire world," Eisenberg continued. In the film's trailer, Green is on a muddy desolate back road. A man in a white pickup truck asks him if he has ever gotten beat up you can't see Green's face, but you can hear he's smiling when he says I've never gotten beat up, I've never gotten mugged, unless you're about to mug me.